Dick Rickles here. <laughs> Yes. Are people who own swords cool? No. <laughs> what a champ, though. It's, it's a, a bridge. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a half it's a, it's built a dock, bridge. actually. The 1940s in Nazi Germany. Oh my god. <laughs> You want the Karen or the panties? You know what? Let's ask. Do you guys want videos about used panties? Or do you want a Karen video first? Make, make a poll. It's our second poll. Oh, yeah. Poll. <laughs> oh. I, love, I love that we're figuring out how to do polls and stuff like that. Watch me vote. What? Huh? Don't vote on mine. Yeah. I'm gonna. Jesus. White people just yeah. can't stop rigging elections. Three <laughs> percent. I right, want to do fine. the twenty-three and me for you. All right, we're doing panties. We're doing the used panty thing. <laughs> we're the worst. <laughs> um, from the L.A. Explorer, we have used oh. panties, Japanese vending machine. First of all. He looks like he used, he sniffs used panties. This guy looks like he snorts them Ooh. entirely. Okay, we gotta be the tiebreakers. I mean, there's already, we're, we already got one up. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. I love John Oliver Jr. on the right here. He looks like somebody, but like that I knew from university. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Is it the guy that wore that morph suit that one time? No, but you saw that too. Weird yeah. shit happens at night. Weird you know? shit happens on college campuses in general. There was, um, we were hanging out, uh, me and my friends in this one dorm. Yeah. And we were just watching, like, horror videos and things like Jeff the Killer, all that creepypasta crap of hmm. back in the day. And out of nowhere... This dude and his friend just walk in. They don't live there, mind you. And his friend is dressed up as Slenderman. And Slenderman was one of the creepypastas we were, like, deep diving into. And um, he sneaks up behind one of our friends, and she doesn't realize it, and she almost shits the couch. <laughs> and, like, he pulls down his masks. His pupils are the size of dinner plates. And oh my he's, god. <laughs> yeah. So his friends just like, oh, I'm just um I'm just trip sitting them. That is that's very fun. But like that wasn't his room. I don't even think he lived in that dorm. <laughs> <laughs> I but I want to one I wonder what the staff like the front desk staff thought. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what this guy has to say. How are you gonna have a lapel mic and sound this shit? Do some more Japan footage. Look we at him. Been there for a few days. By this time, we actually wanted to dive into the local culture, so we decided to buy Rafael his first waifu. So a waifu is uh, someone you love and you want to spend the rest of your life with, but she's anime. Normally, you'll get her printed on a pillow. The oh bigger the bus size for the waifus, this is the more that cost. Oh, so that one right there, I guarantee, would be like. $90. This is a tinge also, cringy. Like, digital gigapet waifus that you can like have a whole virtual life with. What the fuck? You were gonna tell me that when we were over there. We decided to rent bicycles, be more like the locals. I like the little thing right there, it looks like a little golden poop nugget. Once you find the Tokyo cruise spot, <laughs> sperm. Look over, there's like this little tunnel. You walk down those stairs. Little golden and that's the bike poop shop. nugget. Oh, it's like an escalator. Like sperm. Like I didn't even know These guys are clearly the Rick Steves of their generation. It's actually moving. On the way, we got hungry and decided to stop by this little restaurant. Product placement. I'm not sure I'm liking the smell of this. I'm not sure I'm liking the smell of your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trigger warning, trigger warning. Weeaboos. <laughs> so we finally made it to Akihabara, home of Ralph's future waifu. Just and say Akihabara. Akihabara is like the biggest electronic, uh, like, the place to go. Yeah. If we've, you need, um, like, old batteries, cameras, anything. Yeah, we've watched videos of, um, 
like all the really big J vloggers going to Akihabara, like um, Chris Broad and Aki Joey Dearest. the Anime Joey Man, the Anime Man, Aki Dearest. yeah, quite Gaunt. a few. Yeah, all that shit. Right um, Tokidoki. Oh yeah, Tokidoki did do that. Oh, I like Tokidoki. Uh, it's just anime shop after AV shop after uh, oh, God. cafes. These are made cafe I'm sorry, girls. Mama. They like to talk to the young guys. I'm not. But you know what you signed up for, yeah. have... so I'm kind of not. Look, if anything, it's your fault for us watching this because you raised me. An old Japanese samurai smoking hey, a hey, cigarette. Hey, 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 blame your dad, too. Where one guy That's true. Goes by Equal age. To gamble his life away. That's how Yahoo advertises in Japan. Over here, you cannot find a trash can. Do you know why? Wait, why? Do you know why you can't find trash cans? Why can't you find Japan? trash cans? The sarin gas attacks in the oh. Tokyo subways. Because what happened was they, after the whole incident, they were basically like, okay, these packs, because it was liquid. Mm -hmm. The gas was in a liquid form that they popped with an umbrella as they got off the train. And because of the, it was wrapped in newspaper, and because of that, they didn't know where the hell to look. And basically, they got rid of trash cans as potential hiding spots. Oh, okay. So uh, they don't have to, like, root around to, to the bottom. That makes a lot of sense. It's a, it's a fascinating uh, reason, like, find some videos on it. It's really fascinating. Yeah, n yeah, we'll definitely find some for next time. Yeah. Or even if we can this time, like, honestly. I blame the MTVs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the lack of trash cans. Started seeing stores where I think they would steal girls' pictures. Yeah, if you guys could explain that. Oh. Some of them looked like normal girls, and then some of them looked like, you know, celebrities. But there were like four by six photos. Yeah, a lot of them didn't look like very professional. They looked like something just out of a, you know, one of those photography Like a Facebook? Like, like they're... Bucks and they take, you know, your portrait real quick. Are these people just buying them so that they can go home and tell people that these are their girlfriends, make shit up? So that's a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna go inside and yeah, I would do that. <laughs> hey, fellas. It's like, this is my girlfriend. You wouldn't know her. She lives in Canada. A real life <laughs> which is weird. And... These guys have a serious coke problem. Doesn't make sense to me. Coke whores. So we're in the elevator. <laughs> They're coke whores. Right now, we're not supposed to be recording. But, thug life. I like picking the sexy girls all the time. And we're in Japan, and over there they don't judge you. In fact, it's weird if you don't pick these kind of girls. <laughs> you know, normally here in America, you got push cakes. it in. And See, man, got a coke prop. Food or whatever you have, and over there you have to pull it out. I'm like, what the heck? I followed Raphael to this video store, and ended up running into used ah! panties in a ah! machine. That's the one thing that tripped me out, is he was gone <laughs> for literally like 20 minutes, and I don't understand. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're just it up. You know why? He is He's a so weird American when hell. I'm over here actually participating in the culture, walking around the used panty section, and he's looking at me like I'm a weirdo. You and both are. It's Pretty not a competition, and if you is, you are. both were in first place. It looks <laughs> like it's almost empty. I like the little doll at the top with the panties. I bet you do. You fucking freak. Ten thousand yen. Ten dollars. It's ten dollars for used panties. They come in the little Easter egg things. Yeah, uh, doing it right. Gotta smell them and try them, lick your fingers. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm in this dark room, is that where it's all is this what the kids call me. simps? No. <laughs> No, this is not what the kids call simps. <laughs> I mean, maybe if they start like stalking this woman, maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty decent deal, I guess. But see, it's like I don't know. I'm not in the market for used panties. I don't. I haven't seen the stocks. Just go to a you know? Goodwill and use yeah. your imagination. Yeah, I mean they're used. They're washed. But they're used. Who goes to Goodwill to buy panties? Poor Never people. mind. Freaks and poor people. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory. There's a laundry back there because I thought this would be the appropriate setting to enjoy my new gift. Here it goes. He brought gloves. What a pussy. All right, I just open it up. You can see it is wrapped in they're plastic. They're used. 
you it know, looks like. We watched it someone get fed like on by a bed bug. I don't think like we're gonna get in trouble tight, for this. You know, preserve the freshness. Remember when we were kids? Not really. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, those are nice. <laughs> uh, it's always at that moment. You're never gonna like listen. PSA. You're in public and you're gonna open a package of used panties. Someone's gonna walk up as soon as you're holding them up. Okay? That's just cause that's and just effect. Murphy's law. Just cause and effect. The kids. Yeah. We're not old enough to be adults. I mean. Right? We need adultier adults to tell us how to adult. She walks in just as I hold them up. Those are nice panties, too. Like, like got the lace and shit. Mm. That's how you know these two aren't really good friends, because the, the other guy is not yelling, like, right now, like, Oh my god, Josh, what are you doing? What are, are those panties like do you think they're do you think they're still moist since they're in a sealed oh bag oh my god what nice. it's a legitimate question do you think uh, uh, those uh, used uh, panties you think are moist do you think there's condensation hmm? on the inside of the bag is that what you're asking me those freaks probably lick it off oh my lord hey oh you married god. me here they are <laughs> slingshots lacy them. Yeah, they're, they're nice. These are nice they panties. Have on them, around the edges, they have these little. <laughs> yes. Tied up things. The little tied up things. You mean strings, knots, like? <laughs> and you can put them on your head, I think. What's yes? You want to. What's no, what's Duran knowing that. about? I'm pretty sure he's knowing it. Just this dude in general, or the <laughs> fact that you mentioned, are they moist? <laughs> Y'all said, wait, did did. What did he vote for? Nasty or just actually? Oh, weird. yeah, Dur yeah, Duran voted for gross. You yeah, voted you... for gross. You, you did this to yourself. <laughs> They're black, so you can't see any skid marks on them. Oh, I mean, that's probably for the smarter thing. I think they're moist, but only because there's no way that guy doesn't sweat so profusely he made them <laughs> slick with his forehead grease the millisecond he broke the seal. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, you! Like I said, you typed it, and you know what? That's just the, you voted for gross. Imagine the smell inside the vending machine. Oh my god! I it's... bet, I bet when the guy gets there and opens the vending machine, there's a slight hiss. <laughs> oh shit! Imagine, Been a while. Been a while since I changed in, this. Can you imagine being the people that have to package them? <laughs> 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 I voted for gross, not moist. <laughs> Why would I vote for that? I'm going to stop saying it so as to encourage you to keep watching, but I'm just saying you voted for gross, and if you look under the word gross, there it is. Um, Ooh, we went up by one. Oh, we did. How many likes are we at on this? I don't know. We are at five likes. I liked it. It's pretty cool. I was the first to like it. Like someone left a tuna can open in a tin shed in July. With a hint of shame. That sounds like a bluegrass song. What What does shame smell like? Tuna everyone can say, left open everyone, in a tin shed in July. Everyone say shame has a smell. What is it? Shame? Yeah, what's your, what do you think shame is smell-wise? Um, I'm just right. curious. Here's what shame sounds like. No, it smells, smells like. like. Here's what, so I think pretty everybody knows what shame sounds like. Um... I'll get right now. Oh my god, you beautiful man. Um, what does shame smell like? <laughs> you ever... You ever... Hmm. You ever... Hmm. I assume shame smells... Like... The bad sweat. Do you know what I mean? Like there's sweat that doesn't smell terrible. Yeah. But then there's sweat that smells like god awful. I imagine it smells a lot like that. <laughs> anyway, let's continue this. This guy looks like a guy that we know named Raul, by the way. 
I do not. Ew, he does. Who sang the opening song to one of the recent episodes? Oh wait, I think I do. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on for a second. Oh come he's, on! He's kind of that close to his face, and he's then he's gonna be skeeved out. Yeah. This guy's Dude, a freak. whatever is on those panties has now jumped off the panties and is now on your face. Okay, really it's hell. all we're already grossed here. This is already gross. Look how lacy they are. We're okay. You know what's good I'm about gonna do, lace? For I'm gonna these... do another vote thing. You know what's good about the lace for these uh, for the freaks that buy them? Huh? Huh? Lace gets a lot more stuff up in, up in it. Oh my god. Hey, you're not wrong. Yeah. Not yeah, wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, we have a new viewer. Jimmy, I think it's unhygienic either way. You slice this mustard. <laughs> <laughs> this would be really unhygienic. <laughs> god, you can see the crust. You know, the fact that these are lacy and kind of nice looking make me wonder, were, are, were these given up voluntarily? Like, is this consensual? Like, they're, are these stolen? Yes, because I can tell you, panties like that suck ass. <laughs> As in, like, they literally like... get ass sucked. <laughs> <laughs> they get sucked up in the ace. And you know what? You're happy when you get rid of them. Yeah, I can imagine so. I can imagine that they're irritating too to like your hips, like where the lace is, because lace is like rough. Oh yeah, like that's digging into the uh, to the sides of your hips, or not your hips, your inner thighs. Slice this mustard. <laughs> oh my god, this is it. so. I love it. This is all so wrong. Look at him. Don't kink it? shame, dog. I will kink shame as much as I want if it's weird. No, I mean, I'm teasing you. You said that to me once, and I got as offended. <laughs> That's true. Do you remember? It was, at, it was at one of the festivals. Yeah. Because I was like, it was the people. Okay, so there's a festival that we go to at this one place that has showers. Okay, the only problem is, is that the showers... Either get shat in and, or screwed yeah. in. And if I'm not mistaken... The story that Stone is talking about right now is I, we were standing in the shower, and Stone goes, this is Stone, by the way. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, my wife goes by Stone's online. But, um, uh, Stone goes, man, how could people want to fuck in here? It's disgusting. It's so gross. <laughs> And then I say, don't kink shame. And, and she looks back at me with this look of like, no. excuse me? No, no. We were walking out to the field and we passed by a tent that was very clearly occupied by two busy individuals. Maybe more. I don't know. The point is, it was freaky. <laughs> and I said something and you're like, oh, don't kink shame. And I walked into the field in the night. Uh, screaming at how I can chink, kink shame as much as I want. Kink shame. I can kink shame as much as I want. Like, I hope by this the way, guy works in like a deli. BT dubs, uh, Jimmy, we are going to said festival. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to kink shame. I just want to kink ask why. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Like, I'm, I'm just curious. That's really all it is. Stop it's showing it's the crust! Uh, hey, all right. you go back to that right. crust. Only for you two. Ah! It doesn't smell like anything, to be honest. Wet it. Wet well, it you gotta first. moisten that shit up before no, the... Time for some sushi. I don't really feel like taking this on the airplane, because in case the TSA opens my bag, they're gonna start asking questions. No, no they're, they're not. not. Putting it in the laundry over there. Because, you know, it would be inconspicuous. But I think an even better surprise would be to throw it in this ball pit right here. Well, goodbye to those panties. They were fun while they last. Oh. There's something um. I, uh... Oh, yeah. No, we'll send you some info. info. Yeah, we will definitely Later send you the info for day. that music festival. I, I just didn't feel right leaving them, so I just decided to... Ah, <laughs> 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 he took it back with him. Yeah. Whip them out. 
Nasty. That guy, nasty bitch, is gonna be wearing those panties. He already has been. Oh my god, the guy with the coke problem, gonna be wearing those panties. All right, so 